Good afternoon, everyone. It is Wednesday, the 21st of July, 2010, and this is your typical Thursday host, Zeb. He's a man, such a man, such a man. So, in case you're wondering if time has become distorted or you're losing your mind and forgetting whole days now, no worries, you're not. Uh, DJ and I decided to swap days this week since it happened to be better for both of our schedules, so here I am. Um, <laughs> so not a lot has been happening uh, over the last week that's really worth mentioning at least. Uh, there's a couple things, I guess. The AC broke down in our house for a few days, but fortunately, uh, I had already had plans to go down south, about 60 miles south of here, and uh, go to my buddy Todd's lake house that has some good air conditioning. So, I was down there for about two days and managed to avoid roasting in my house, so that was really, really good. And I also had a blast down at the lake house. Uh, I got sunburned to a crisp. Some of you probably saw my Facebook pictures. It was ridiculous. And for those of you who didn't read the comments that I put twice on there, um, yeah, I actually put 50 SPF sunscreen on twice, and I still got crispied, and I was only out for four hours. Unreal. Anyway, um... Besides the sunburn, it was actually a really good time. I had a lot of time to just relax, got to hang out with my friends, uh, go out on the pontoon boat, swim. I actually haven't been to a beach in at least four or five years. It might have been longer than that. So that was really cool. Uh, and I also, I also got to ride my first jet ski ever and also got to drive it for the very first time ever. So... That was a lot of fun, and I now understand why people are so, so addicted to jet skis and like them so much, because it was a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was a good time, and it really it worked out really well, too, because the whole time I was down there, or most of the time I was down there at least, um, I felt pretty decent. My symptoms were low. I wasn't too dizzy or anything like that. So, unfortunately, the day after I got back up here, uh, it hit me again, and it's kind of been funky since then. I've been, I've been pretty dizzy and nauseous since, actually, when I woke up Tuesday morning. So that kind of stinks. But, um, but yeah, I won't rant about it. Anyway, I also saw the movie Inception and hung out with some of my friends here. But that was really about the entirety of my week. So. Overall, it was a good week, uh, especially in terms of mood and my like my happiness level, I guess. It was a good time, uh, but kind of a downer, I guess, when it comes to symptoms. I don't usually have nausea. It's not one of my normal symptoms. So uh, to anybody out there that does have nausea a lot, how in the world do you guys deal with it? Uh, have you found any natural remedies or anything like that that seems to work? Uh, I was popping Dramamine, but it didn't really seem to do much, so I don't know. Anyway, on to the questions this week. Andrew, you asked, do you have a service pet, uh, and do you find that you're treated differently uh, because you have that pet? I don't have a service pet. Um, in fact, I actually only knew that there were seeing eye dogs. I didn't know there were uh, service pets for anything other than that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't know if I'd be treated any differently because I don't have that. All I've got are the two dogs that I live with here. Sabina, which I showed you, which is the older Belgian Malinois, uh, and also a younger Belgian Malinois, Bronson, who's definitely a handful. Um, so, but other than, than those very well-trained pets, um, I don't have any, any other animals around me, so, other than squirrels. So, um, yeah, and sorry you've been feeling so nasty lately, man, that, um, you know, I, I seem to say this a lot, but, uh, that really does suck. I am fortunate that I haven't had much 
pain from all of my symptoms. So um, I don't exactly know where you're coming from there, but it's got to be hell. So just hang in there, man. And I hope the CT turns out all right, and they do find that you have a brain in there. I'm sure they will. Uh, <laughs> And uh, also, good luck with the house hunting, dude. Mm, yeah, Dave, I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in this Saturday. That would be great, okay? I'm glad you're feeling more upbeat this week, man. That's fantastic. I'm very glad to hear it. Uh, i got to say, I loved Mr. Bimbles there as well. Uh, I really miss having cats. I've always liked cats. I like I like all animals, but uh, I get a kick out of cats. They just do the goofiest things and get in the goofiest predicaments and and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, I've got a whole bunch of goofy cat pictures on my Facebook that I've found all over the place. A lot from ICanHasCheeseburger.com and stuff like that. So they just crack me up. Um, I'll I'll set the building on fire. Yeah. So. You asked, what's the first thing you would do if you woke up tomorrow morning and were completely cured? And I actually know what I would do because I said that that's what I would do back when I first got sick. That was kind of a convoluted sentence and I apologize. But yeah, um, I've been saying since I first got ill that the very first thing that I would do is sing the, well, at least as much as I can remember of the first act of Rent. <laughs> um, a whole lot of my friends and I used to sing Rent all the time, back and forth, and do the different parts of it, and had a blast doing so. Um, I started doing that, I think, when I worked backstage uh, in the scene shop and backstage crew uh, in the theater at the university here. I was there for a really, really long time, and we used to do that all the time. So, yeah, that's what I would do. I would sing the first act of Rent, and then, more than likely, make plans to visit all my friends, <laughs> and probably visit a lot of you guys, too, if, if you would have me. So, um, yeah. So, my question for this week is, when you're having a bad day, or a flare-up, uh, what is the best way for you to keep your mind occupied and pass the time without dwelling on being sick so much and thinking all negatively about it. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things that... I'm not sure if there's bugs on me or what. Um, there's, there's a lot of things that I do to distract myself from how I feel. Most of it is on the computer, uh, whether it be watching YouTube videos or going on Facebook or playing online games, things like that. But if I'm feeling up to it, I'll also go outside uh, enjoy some nature, take lots of pictures, etc. You've seen me do that before. Uh, I like to, to talk to my friends if I'm feeling up to it and have enough energy to speak that much. Um, and I also like to build things, which you guys have probably seen a little bit. Um, on my own channel, I've got all those goofy experiments that I've done, so I like to do all that sciencey stuff as well. But just wondering if there's anything else out there that you guys have found that helps you pass the time when you're feeling really bad. So, anyway, that's it for now. I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you next Thursday. So, stay tuned for DJ tomorrow, everyone. Take care. Excellent.